Hi Internet. So today we're going to be talking about Wheatstone Bridges. Now what is a Wheatstone Bridge? A Wheatstone Bridge is uh, a device for um, measuring a unknown resistance against three known resistances. So the three known resistances are in this diagram are A, B, and C and the unknown is X here. And uh, so how do we do this? Well, you can see that A and B form a voltage divider, and so do C and X. When the ratios of these two voltage dividers are the same, then the same voltage will be present across these two uh, nodes, and if the same voltage is present at both these nodes, then no current will flow through the galvanometer. Just to explain again, if things are unbalanced, then the voltage will be higher, um, higher at one side than the other, and so current will take this path. If everything, if these, if A and B and C and X ratios are balanced, then current won't take that path. The current will take two paths and completely bypass the Galvo. This is, Galvo is used as what's called a null sensing, uh, where you're just looking for zero. And the galvanometer you need to use needs to be uh, as sensitive as possible. Um, one microamp per division is the minimum. So, let's take a look. First, what is a galvanometer anyway? Well, a galvanometer uh, essentially is the, basics, the basic uh, principle behind all analog uh, dials and gauges you might see. Uh, basically, it's just a coil of wire around a, a magnet. And as you can see with this uh, homemade galvanometer, Technically, this is a tangent galvanometer. Uh, just putting a, touching the battery moves the uh, compass needle very violently. So this is the actual Wheatstone bridge that we'll be demoing. Uh, as you can see, it's a Leeds and Northrop probably at least 60 years old, maybe older, and has um, kind of unusual dials because there's 20 positions. Um, so there's four um, significant digit dials and then your exponent dial, your multiply by dial. Up here we have a tangent galvanometer. Um, every division there is one microamp and over here we have our battery and here we have our unknown resistance so to find our unknown resistance you uh, essentially just uh, pick a random number doesn't really matter where you start and you press the battery and galvo buttons and you can see the galvo moving. So if we're on this side of the scale that means our resistance indicated here is too high. So let's lower it down and now you see the Galvo is just barely moving uh, maybe seven microamps so that means we're close and now when I press the button the Galvo is not moving at all, which means we have found the value. We read it out as 1000 zero, 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 or 1000 multiplied by 1. So um, according to this bridge, this resistor should be 1000 ohms. And what do you know? If we zoom in and can focus, yep. It's 1,000 ohms at 0.01%. All right, so that is a demonstration of uh, the antique piece of test gear known as the Wheatstone Bridge. 
and thanks for watching.